Are you trusting the higher power? Are you trusting those thoughts that are put into your mind? Let's go see. In other words, if you are filling your mind with things that anxiety, stress, fear, all of these things, that is from the demons, okay? They want you to struggle. They want you to go down those rabbit holes and just be misery, 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 okay? But what you have to do is fill your mind with God and things of God and things that he wants for you. He wants you to trust him and have faith because I'm letting you guys know that things will get better. They do. Okay, so I don't even know where to start, okay? So I was married to 20 years. I was a stay-at-home mom, okay? Married to an alcoholic. Finally, I was just done. My kids were older. I figured, you know what? I, it's time now. But I didn't get, I didn't divorce them. So people were always like, why would you not leave him earlier? Because when you're abused and you're scared and you're the codependent, try to keep him, you're just messed up. And finally, my kids were old enough that I was like, okay, he won't take them on the weekends and they, they can't be influenced by his parents and him, okay? So I was like, okay, I need to file for a divorce and this and that. So I got divorced and I stayed home on for 20 years. I got absolutely no maintenance, $800 a month for child support, okay? So it's a struggle, guys. It's a struggle. I lived with my sister for the first year and then I was able to rent a house and things like that. But it is hard because you, I... In my mind, I go back to these days and be like, why didn't I do this? Why did I do that? And I'd be crying, 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 beating myself up for my children. And why didn't I do this and this? But then you guys have to think, when you're in the situation, you're stuck in it. Like I wouldn't be, I wouldn't tell anybody what was happening behind closed doors and things like that. We were just struggling and not that there wasn't some good times. Like I love being a stay-at-home mom raising my five children. That was the best thing that I could do. Like I love my children so much, but there were things that like I would have never thought when I was young, because I was so good, that this would happen in my life, but it did. So that was my path, my journey and things. And you learn from this, okay? So here's how I look at it, guys. I didn't get any money. My lawyer was like, you're gonna get $13,000 a month because you know, they're rich, they're millionaires, these people, okay? And you're gonna be this and that. I was like, oh, okay, cool. You guys, seriously, zilch Ola, okay? But that's okay because here's how I look at it. This is what I tell everybody. If I would have gotten that money, okay, so when I grew up, I had no money. I married money, did not change me. And now I'm back to um, just making money. And you know, I have food on the table, I have clothes. Okay, that's all you need, you know? You need family and friends and be able to eat and clothe yourself. So that's totally fine with me, okay? So. Um, I just lost my train of thought. Okay, so what I was trying to say is, I tell people that, what if I would have gotten all that money? What would I have been doing? I would have been sitting in like a nice condo, you know, shopping and doing this. What would I have learned from that? Who would I have become? Like I've always been, I feel, I've always been just a nice person. You know, I, I follow the rules of God, the commandments, I do my best. Not that I don't sin, everybody sins. Um, but I'm a really good person. And so I would, what would I be doing? Like seriously, so this is how I look at it. I have made so many good friends because I had to get a job. I went to beauty school. My One of my besties, a couple of my besties are from going to beauty school, working in a salon. And that's how you learn and grow, okay? If I would have had all this money, what would, really? What would I have done? I, I think about that all the time. Like I have met the best people because I had to go down that path and get a job and do this and do that. So that's how I look at it, guys. That's the positive of it. So there is um, positive that comes out of this, but I'm telling you guys right now, I did have my days and their negativity where I was down in that rabbit hole, but you know, why me? Why this happened to me? I have nothing. I have no money. I don't have blah, blah, blah. He's Disneyland daddy. He's got all the money and I can't purchase anything for my children. You guys, that is the negative of it. But now that my kids are older, they understand everything. Mom, you're the best mom. Because trust me, guys, I went down that rabbit hole where I was thinking I was a terrible mother. And I wasn't able to buy my kids things. And it's just, ugh, I'm telling you, I through all of my years of being divorced, I've always been, I was Catholic, you know, believe in God. I've always believed in God. 
but I got, my faith got stronger through all of this. And that's where I can find happiness and joy on those days that I start going down the rabbit hole. I'm like, pick yourself up, Mary, or I'll go to YouTube and I'll find a video and I'll, you know, or I'll call a friend, I'll call a family, I'll call one of my kids, They're like, mom, no, blah, 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 blah. So it, it's, a, it's a struggle, but it's worth it to put God on your heart and just, just to keep pushing, guys, okay? But to, to honestly, guys, you have to just like go to YouTube and, well, you are now. Pick, you have to look like um, Tony Robbins and who's the other Robin woman? And you just look up positive videos and look up and just watch them every day and, and just learn to grow and with God and even look up maybe some scripture and other things. You have to look up positive things and build yourself up, okay? That's what I do. And I still do it every day. Because um, there's days where I, I'm still like, gosh, why this? Uh, uh. But you got to pull yourself on out of that and think you are amazing. You are great. And things are coming. So you cannot have the devil mess with you. Don't let him tell you that you're not good enough. You're, you're ugly. You're this. You're a disappointment to everybody. You're no good. You guys, those are thoughts the devil's putting into your head. And then you start believing them. You have to not do that, okay? You are a great, amazing person, and God knows that, and God put you here for a purpose, and you have to believe that. So stop telling yourself all that negative stuff because, trust me, I've done it. It is not good. You have to build yourself up, okay? So go build. Go build yourself, guys. Here's a perfect example of how you guys can change and make your life better. Have you guys seen those reels where the women and the men in prison are finding Jesus Christ, and they're changing their lives around? They are the most amazing videos. I love them because then they're able to see their children and they show them how they um, they reunite with their kids and stuff. You guys, it's amazing. Who knows what those people did in jail? God forgives all of them. And now they're turning their lives around and they know that they are God's child and they deserve better. So they're living their lives like that now. Now, are they stuck in jail forever? I don't know, but at least they found God and after their afterlife, they're going to at least be in heaven. That's how I look at it, right guys? That's good for today, guys. I'll think of something else. I know that I'm a little crazy and I'm all over the place. Um, my boyfriend tells me I have ADHD all the time. So maybe I do. Oh, well. But this is, these are my stories. This is just my life and I want to share with you guys. All right, guys? So that's it. And I will talk to you. Peace out. Say your prayers. And, oh, and don't forget, hit the subscribe button. All right, guys. Bye.